while ago, my brother visited Portugal and we spent three great days together, which made me think, why were they so great? It wasn't just because I hadn't spent such a lovely time with him for a long time. And at the end of that clip, I also mentioned I would make this video. So here it is, who should you travel with? Please notice I'm not talking about children in this video because I am no parent and I have never traveled myself with children. Although I mainly traveled and spoke about solo, there were times I also traveled with other human beings. My very first group trip with my friends was when I was 17. A very good one. And then again with my best friends for my graduation three years ago. A really, really good one. I traveled with my mom and her husband. Fun ones, fun ones. I went on to two school trips during high school. Mm, so and so. I traveled with my grandparents. It was not the best one. So why is that? Some of them were really good, some of them were so-and-so, some of them I didn't really like much. The first question we should ask here is what do I want out of this trip and what do they want out of the trip? This is because different people travel for different reasons. To relax, to discover a new culture, to experience a specific something of a culture. Because their favorite singer, designer, actor, football player, football team, is from the specific country. For romance with your partner, some people travel to stay at the beach all day long and do nothing. Some people travel to party all night and sleep during the day. Some people travel and want to see every single museum in that specific city. Some people travel and, uh, I don't know, you feel in this one. All of these reasons are fine because different people want to do different things. So my big suggestion is that you travel with people who want to do the same things as you do. Which means you have to be clear on what you want to get out of the trip in the first place. Don't get too caught up into the let's do this moment. Think ahead. Let me give you some examples with my family members. I would travel the most with my brother because we like to do and see new things. We don't really care about accommodation or food. We are really minimal. So he would be the one I would travel with to go to very far away places, to third world countries, or for something adventurous. I would travel with my mom and her partner if I wanted to go somewhere else to a near place just to relax and not to do something that requires a lot of energy because that's what they usually do. They would be walking all day, eating nice meals in restaurants, nightlife and drinks, just seeing the city in a really, really chilled way. They really take it easy. They just want to relax and have a good time without having to spend too much energy on something crazy. And if they pay for the trip, I'm gonna say yes with no problem. Thank you, mom. Now, I don't think I would travel with my dad outside of Italy. I actually never did. Sorry, father. We just don't align on traveling at all. It's just too close-minded to do specific things. And I already know it would be some kind of like boring experience for me. Also because if he travels, he wants to do basically nothing. So he would just want to go and relax, maybe go to the beach all day or doing nothing basically, which is not my style specifically. My second tip, guys, is to travel with someone who aligns, compensates your personality. Let me explain with an example, because this video is all about examples, isn't it? When I travel, I like to be organized. I like to have an idea, at least, of what I want to do and see. The plan doesn't have to be perfect, but there should be at least some kind of a plan. I don't personally go to a new place without doing any research at all. I would not perfectly match with someone who just goes and does things on the way how they happen. Which I think I actually should try and I will. In fact, I don't mind to travel with someone who is open to doing things to go into the unknown who is kind of spontaneous but at the same time doesn't mind to have some kind of direction which again doesn't have to be 100% sure if it makes sense another example if you are the kind of person that likes to take their time to see different things slowly you know pause for a second just sit down to a bar or something you should not travel with someone who wants to do 1000 things in a day and rushes throughout the day so that at the end of it they are really tired it doesn't match, they collapse. 
aka my grandparents. That's why when I went to Venice with my grandparents, I was dead at the end of the day because my grandmother, she just rushes for everything she wants to see in just one day, every single thing possible. My grandfather, on the other hand, is really chilled, he likes to walk slowly, see things, slow down a little, and again, that, mm, they clash every single time. I was actually laughing so hard at them most of the times, but from my point of view, the experience was exhausting because I was like, I just need to relax for a second and not rush through everything and one last suggestion from my side as traveling is discovering something new travel with people who are open-minded and are not afraid to say yes to uncommon unusual things because those will be the best memories especially if you go to a place really really far away from your uh, hometown where the culture is different people are different the food is different so go and try things that's the best part of it now when traveling with people, another question pops up. Is it better to travel with a big group or with a small bunch? I personally prefer to travel with just few people. Something like two, three people in total is the best number for me, at least. I personally like small groups because it's easy to manage everything and to decide on things, on what to do. That's why I never really liked school trips because there were like two, three classes, so a lot of students who would divide themselves into different groups. And of course, different groups wanted to do different things. And most of the time, I found myself in the middle, not knowing what to do. Most of the times, a lot of students wanted to go out and drink, which I don't. So again, for me, that was not the best group to travel with because I was myself in a situation where I didn't really enjoy myself. Of course, it was nice to spend time with my schoolmates, you know, abroad and everything. But when you don't do something that everyone else does, or what everyone else in a specific group does, you know, it's kind of like difficult just to go along with the flow. So again, guys, it depends on you, on the person that you are, your personality, what you like to do, what you want to get out of the specific trip. So before you plan your next trip, make sure you do your research beforehand to make sure you'll find the best travel companions. And of course, guys, I'm not saying this to discourage traveling with your friends, family members, children or whatever. Not at all, even if you want to do different things. You know, you can always compromise and make sure that everyone has a chance to do what they like to do during that trip. But make sure you check everyone's agenda before you leave. Again, guys, don't get too caught up into the let's do this moment. And this is, of course, to avoid misunderstandings along the way, discussions, arguments, and to make sure that you get the best and the most out of your trip with other people. I personally never had a big arguments when uh, traveling abroad with other people. I like to travel with my mom because she's really easygoing and she's really chilled. But for example, if I go out with my dad, most of the times, even if we don't go abroad, you know, there's always some kind of discussions like, oh, I want to do this and then we do it. And then we stay there for too long and the other person kind of gets bored or annoyed. So, you know, that's, I want to avoid that because I want to enjoy my time and I want to make sure that the person enjoys their time as well. So guys, this is all for today. Just a short video about the people you should travel with. I hope you found this video useful. Let me know down in the comments what you think. And basically in a nutshell, travel with someone who likes to do the same things as you do. Someone you can get the most out of your experience traveling. By the way, who is the right person for you to travel with? Leave their names down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you as always for watching guys. If you have any questions or anything, just leave them down below. I would love to read what you think. And I will see you really soon with the next video. Uh, and yes guys, I think it's gonna be this kind of video because everyone is in quarantine. I cannot really go out and vlog, which I hope I'll do soon. But yeah, I will see you soon. Bye. Ciao, ciao.